Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who is new, my name is Olivia and today I thought I would do a one of those um, wrap and chats but I would add in not a makeup tutorial to it just to kind of catch you up with what's go been going on around here um, since I haven't been posting a lot. Um, I have been obsessed with decluttering my house. Um, I don't I don't know why I feel I feel like I need to get it done. Um, I just it the urge came and I was like, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> so I've been really, really busy just gathering up the junk and, you know, just, just getting rid of things for, for the past few days. I've also been painting the living room. I, <laughs> I don't know why all of these things hit me. The, the urge to do these things and the inspiration hits me all at once, but that's the way it is for me. Um, so I've been been so focused and, and like hyper focused on getting these things finished. Now I'll put in a couple of video, a couple of photos of what I'm doing to the living room because my whole house is turning blue, <laughs> and not this blue. This this room is the brightest room in the entire house. It's the for me this is an inspirational color. So. Um, this is the crazy room, um, but the downstairs, it's very soothing, a very light blue and like a bluish green color, but you'll see, I'll, I'll put some photos in here. I'll figure that out how to do that. So that you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. We're, we're just, I don't know new year new us that's so cliche but we're going we're going through our stuff and getting rid of all of the things that that are just they've been hanging around and just causing clutter i guess that's the best way to put it but um that's what i've been doing these past few days micah i will tell you micah and my husband have a lot in common i would should say micah and all cats apparently have a lot in common Micah, my husband and all cats have a lot in common. They do not do change very well. They're, they like things to stay the same. So Micah is having a bit of a problem with all the, the tumult and, and the moving around of things. The, the paint, he does not like it. I open up the window so it's not um, causing him that, that kind of distress. The overstimulation of his nose. He can sit and get the outside um because I know his, his little nose is very sensitive to the smell, but he's just, he's acting out because he doesn't like all of the stuff in the middle of the floor. You know, he has his routines, our routines are out the window. <laughs> and um, so, so this morning I thought I'll spend an hour or so chit-chatting with you guys, giving Micah a chance to be back in his favorite spot on the carpet there, doing, doing something that's sort of normal for today. So maybe he'll forgive me for all the nonsense that's been going on in the house the past few days. Now, today I'm wearing this sage green dress, very comfy, um, one, of, one of my favorite acquisitions recently. I'm going to be putting on a jacket, so a long duster type jacket, so it won't be as, as weird looking. Um, uh, let's see. Now I'm putting on my makeup. They just got this a little while, a few, like two weeks ago, a week ago. I can't remember. Um, it, another part of this ongoing staying at home business, everything runs together. The weeks run together. So it's like one, something that happened three weeks ago seemed like it happened last week. It's, it's very, very strange. And I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this way. So if I introduce this, Sorry, I don't remember when I did it, um, the, but the Wahala 2 palette, just I'm just picking out two colors and just slapping them on really quickly. I don't really, not really in the mood to care much about my makeup today. It's just going to be on to make it look like I cared. So I'm going to get Lit, which is this really light color. I started to apply a little bit of it on just right here. And I'm just darkening it, darkening, darkening it a little bit. And I'm going over here just to darken it up just a little bit. And 
I'm going to take another brush, this guy here, and I'm going to fade out the edges just so that it doesn't look so harsh. So that one's that one's nicer than this one. Just to fade out the edges just a little bit. Okay, put that down. I'm sort of limited in my brushes because I have not washed, I haven't washed them um, from the last time I put the makeup on. I just threw them on the counter here and walked away. Not a smart move. So I'm sort of limited with the brushes today. Just take this one and I'm going to go in with Fame, which is this white. And I'm just going to do a little tiny bit right here, just a little for a little shimmer at the eyebrow, nothing crazy, just a little shimmer. Okay, now for the eyelid, I think I'm going to go with. Um, I like the color Peridot the last time I wore it, so I'm just going to put that right on the eyelid. I'm not bothering with cre the crease or anything. It's just, you know, I'm not darkening in the crease. I'm not doing anything out here. I'm not putting on eyeliner. I'm going to put in a little bit of mascara just and do my eyebrows. I've already put on, I didn't even say that, I've already put on my, oh my goodness, my foundation. This one isn't my favorite one, but it works. Um, it's not horrible. So my favorite one is, is the Anastasia one. But since I'm coming home and painting, um, after I go, after I go run out to the store, I have to pick up a couple of things, I'm gonna come home and continue my painting. All right, so get a Peridot. Try to make this part quick because I wanna get to the wrapping. I'm going light with this. I think if I were to wet the brush, I could totally get this to go on really deep. But I just want something to add a little bit of color. Yeah, this way. Just a little bit. Today is going to be a two video day since I didn't mention this. I forgot to put up the video yesterday. I sent it over to Rapunzel. I filmed it on Friday. I ran out of time to do all the digital magic and get it up. Um, so I got it all finished. I got it all sent out on Sunday and I totally forgot to set it up for myself to be uploaded. Um, but I just uploaded it today. It's not my favorite of the videos. I'm a perfectionist, an uber perfectionist, and I couldn't get the scarf to behave, the gray pashmina to behave the way the pumpkin pashmina did. So I feel, I mean my feelings about it. Um, it's the same technique. I know it is. It's the same technique that I used the day that I was wrapping it. Um, but for some reason, the the gray pashmina isn't as stiff, and I feel weird about I feel weird about it. I just I just do. And it's hard it's hard enough to get scarves to you know the same scarves to wrap exactly the same twice, but getting completely different scarves to wrap the same. Um, it's for me it's hard. I was just having a hard time with it. So I apologize if it's not it's it's not up to par if it's not the you know greatest video in the world. But the the technique is sound. Um, so. All right, I'm just going. This is what I'm going with for today with the eye makeup. It's very very simple. Okay. Now I might take this and just dust up a little bit. Make it not so harsh. I can go back in with um, concealer. Give this a little. Make it sharper on that edge. Not a lot because 
um, under this creases a bit when I smile or laugh and I plan on laughing a lot today I don't really I don't really want it to to crease up All right. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so it just gives me that little bit of an uplift that makes me look not so exhausted or apathetic, I guess. Okay, there we go. I like it. Going with it. All these brushes in here in the bin to go and get washed. Now my eyebrows. I'm going to give them a quick quick brush up get some of the foundation out of them just like that okay now I'm just doing the brow gel I'm, I'm not gonna fill them in just doing this just to darken them slightly Keep them in place. I'm gonna have to get some more of this. I'm almost out. So here we go. This one is lovely. All right. Okay. I'm good with this. Now we will be adding to the family at the end, end of this month, the beginning of next month. Um, I don't know if I have mentioned that, but my daughter is getting a sweet baby kitten. Um, her name will, her or his name, <laughs> we're not sure um, which, will be Luna. Alyssa's already decided, doesn't matter what what um, gender the kitten is, it's going, it's going to be named Luna. So we have all, all of Luna's fun stuff. They, I picked up a big, um, I want to say igloo style litter box for, for them. And, oh my goodness, the little collar with little moons all on it. It's so cute. The, the name tag is on its way. Hopefully at some point it will get here. Um, also a cat bed when i purchased micah's cat bed i purchased one for for luna who will be see i have to I have to say this because i will probably slip up i'm thinking really hard about about not not calling <laughs> like not calling luna by what i i mention her as all the time when we're to when Alyssa and i are talking but micah is Mega monster and luna is lunatic because so why not I, the cats are crazy they're crazy fun they're crazy so it's like my Micah monster and Alyssa's lunatic so we're getting it's it's gonna be exciting they the plan the original plan um with Luna was Alyssa was going to be moving back on campus and she was going to be having Luna with her and well Goucher is not going back Alyssa's very disappointed because everybody else is going back to college and Goucher is playing it uber safe, um, which is pretty on brand for for Goucher in that they're that's what they that's what they do. They try to keep everybody as safe as possible. They're I don't know how to otherwise explain Goucher, but they're they're it's very on brand for them to just say, not this time, maybe by fall semester we'll be back. So um that was the plan for her to go to school with Alyssa. But now she gets to stay here with little Luna. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun for Micah to have a playmate. Okay, just a quick mascara. This is the cheapest cheapy McCheapy mascara. It's um extra super lash by Rimmel. I bought a two pack for four dollars and change. I throw this stuff away every three months. So I'm not spending a huge amount of money on it anymore. I used to spend a lot of money on the mascara. It's not happening. Okay. So, plus I like the applicator on this one. This one isn't so bad. So. I 
Oh, no, I'm not going all in and wiggly wiggly and, and getting my eyelashes to be, you know, like huge. But it's just to darken them to make it look like I have eyelashes. A little down here. We'll get it on my face. That's normally what happens. Because you can't, I need the eyeglasses to put the makeup on like this because I'm like, oh, God, I can't see it. Um, especially today. I don't know why my eyeballs are like acting silly today. But I can't put the mascara on with the glasses. And I'd look really silly with a monocle. So, okay. So. Okay, that's good. That's off. All right, there we go. And since I'm obsessive, um, I grew up in a time with Tammy Faye Baker and her her eyelashes. Honestly, if you don't know who it is, Google because you'll laugh hysterically at the eyelashes. They look like spider legs. I just like to make sure, double make sure there are no crazy clumped together hot mess of eyelashes so there we go all mascaras say they're non-clumping they lie they all clump there we go okay good all right doing a quick cheek just to give me some color to my face just going with a color pop right quick Okay, there. Just a, just a quick dose of color right here to my cheeks. You can see it looks a, looks a little healthier with the blush. And I still put it. I still, I still laugh at myself because I still put it on like it's the nineteen eighties <laughs> and the nineteen early nineteen nineties. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Now a little bit of setting powder and a lippy and I'm done. Then I can get to the fun of wrapping. Okay. Setting powder. My setting powder is this Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is translucent. Nice big fluffy. It's, I'm just, I'm not picking up that much. I don't want to take the color back out of my face with, because the, when the powder goes on, it's all really, really white. You can see right in the, the, from what I dumped on the counter. It's all really, really white. And if you get too much on, translucent my foot. Okay. All right. That's good enough. Just a little bit. And then I've got this nice nude lippy here. This was the one that came in the little little kit, um, I think. And it is on the rocks. I'm not bothering with a, please excuse the outside truck. Um, I'm not bothering with a lip liner. So, nice nude lip. That's it. All done. Yay, makeup. Okay. So what I've got here today is this beautiful scarf. And if I can figure out pulling up. I'm having, I'm having, maybe some, this is also something I'm struggling with. Um, remembering remembering um so I, I talked about this before but i'm having my brain is having issues with remembering the names of things so this one this is here pejmina it's the renaissance brocade 
This one is the Renaissance Brocade, which looks like this. I did model this for Rapunzel in green, but I prefer this cranberry color, this wine color with the black. Now I'm thinking, I originally thought that I would add in a pashmina because this, and this pashmina is somewhere between a gray and a sage green. It's like somewhere in there, but I'm thinking I may not do that. I may just do, I may just do the one scarf today. I have on Ultimate Shaper, not one I wear often, but it's not so bad today. What I think I'm going to do, I'd like this pattern. I'm going to put, try to put that close to my face. So, I like the way this looks. Roll that under just a bit. And I'm putting it on at an angle. Just like so. Okay. Now I'm just gathering up the back. I'm gonna do a criss crisscross maybe. You know what? I'm gonna tie it. There's this little piece here. I'm gonna tie it. And I'm tying it so that the short end comes out on the top, like so. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this. Okay. And I'm going to adjust this back just a little bit. And then with this, I think when I bring it up, this black portion will be enough to crisscross right in front. So I have what looks like two different scarves. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm going to spin this so that it actually lays a little bit flatter. And I'm just going to Crinkle it up in the back, hoping for some really cute um, accidental plating. And I bring it up and over like so. Okay. Now I am going to adjust this so that I have more of the more of a thick bit of the black and I wanted it at an extreme angle. There we go. We're going to get that white little white piece not to show. Okay. So I have this and I'm just going to allow this to fold forward like it wants to. Like so. Okay. So I have this nice thin piece right here. I'm going to bring it back over to this side. And then when I bring it up this time, I'm going to bring it up and forward. Just like so. Just trying to Go for a little bit of extra okay. all right i don't like that that knot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop whispering um, i'm going to bring it forward and i'm going to try to get all the short bits underneath that nice long one bringing it forward, bringing it around underneath. I am going to sit correctly in the chair, in the spin, and I'm going to find a pocket and stuff the scarf up into the pocket, if you can see that. 
to slice it. Okay, now I do see I have a few stray bits. They're not going to be a problem in one second because I'm going to now take this piece because this, this piece is not quite long enough to come down for a second swish, a second um, stripe of the black. So I'm going to bring this piece up, fold in all this red because that's going to be or the short, really, really short parts of the red. And I'm going to bring this up. Like so. Now when I get it to here, I can find the pocket and stuff in the end. Making sure it's nice and neat. I do think I'd like this one with the classic or with my Wendy better. Just because I'm, I'm just more comfortable and confident with with the Wendy and I like the um the the classic a little bit better than I like this one. Okay. I got fringes back here if you're wondering what I'm doing. There are a couple fringes that are misbehaving and showing. They escaped. So I'm just trying to tuck them in wherever I can just to get them hidden away. And this is what I've got. This is sort of what I was thinking of, giving a, a bit of a multi-scarf look with this one scarf. So lean forward and show you the side and this side and do another turnaround to show you the back. And I've got, again, I've got a few bits I don't want to hide away. That's, that's basically, I think, what I'm going for today. Um, I do have a brooch that I'm thinking would be really cute. This one is the North Star pin. All right, now I picked this one. I picked this one up in both colors because I liked both of them. This is that's a beautiful silver and the gold. Um, I picked them up in both because I think with having the headband, I wanted to have also the silver, but with this color, I really liked the gold. I thought the gold would be really pretty. So me being me, I ordered them both. Okay. I'm going to stick the brooch right here and there we have it. So today's wrap, not so crazy fancy, but it's pretty. I think it is anyway. Okay. Now, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try to get unfocused on on um, obsessive. I, I don't know how to to put it. I get this way a lot with a lot of different things um, on the house, <laughs> and and post a little bit more this week than I did last week. I wish this would be like that. I like that it's I like a little bit of a a tighter collar, but maybe I'll just pin it. Okay. All right. I hope you ladies have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tutorial.